literally it's like a scar it's not Today, I am, there's obviously construction. My kitchen is finished. Um, and I'm gonna be showing Patreon tonight because I haven't put my things away yet. They just finished like yesterday, a couple days ago. Anyway, long story, I'll, on Patreon, I do like more intimate things <clears throat> with you guys. Um, so they're working on other things in the house now. Like, I cannot stand the footsteps. Like, I get so nervous. Um, anyway, I really wanted to like make my coffee with you guys here today, but it's like the noise is like actually unbearable, but I actually kind of don't care. So should we just do it? Cause I have like this new thing where I just love this coffee and I don't go any, the lighting in here is so bad right now. Like I just don't love the way I look. Um, oh wait, the lighting here is awful. Okay. Um, so Like, no, like I really hate noises. Like it really, really bothers me. Um, so I gotta go. But I don't, the thing is like, I don't actually want to go anywhere to get a coffee. I wanna make it here. And like, I really wanna show you guys my coffee, but like, I can't, like, I don't wanna like talk when there's people here. You know what I mean? Like, Who's she talking to? Like, literally, who's she talking to? You know what I mean? Um, and so I just get like stage fright from it. But, um, okay, so I went to, you guys know I go to Marshalls now, right? Because I'm poor. And I love, say, I love saying that because that's what people tell me. So um, I go to Marshalls now because I'm poor. And I found the best fucking glasses ever. I'm so stoked over them. Like, even like I, I show people and they're like, wow. And this is the thing, like, a lot of people be like, they're just, Okay, I can't even look at myself. Like I'm so ugly. Um, the, thing, the people will be like, they're just, they're just glasses. Like, wow, that's like how stupid you are to say that. Okay, because you actually don't get it. You have no vibe. Okay. Um, let me show you the glass. So, these are the glasses. They're by Mikasa, which I do like that brand. I don't know why. It's not like any kind of like brand that's like amazing. It's just like a fucking dishware brand. It's not a big deal. Um, this, I look green in here and it's just not good, but I just really want to make this coffee and then we'll go. Also, my hair literally is disgusting. Look at that. There's like a kink right here. Like, it's just not cute. Okay. So these are Mikasa brand. doesn't matter. Like, Mikasa, you guys are asking me where I got them. Okay. I just, I told you I got them. Shut up. Anyway, I was in line at Marshall's and it was like so long, right? The line was like literally down like, like around and down, it was crazy. So, you know, they have like, when you're in line, they have things to look at too, right? Like they have like shelves of shit. So they had like glasses, like boxed glasses, like sets of four, right? And I saw Mikasa and I was like, oh, what is this? I'm like sitting in line, like whatever. And I was like, these are like the most perfect glass ever for like so many things for like, like a drink, if you wanna make a drink and I don't really drink at home or um, for like iced coffee. And if you don't see what I see in this glass, like, I don't know what to say because the moment I held up this glass, you should've been like, Alex, I get it. Like, I can't even imagine like this, look at this. Look at, and now this is the thing. Like, it doesn't look like other glasses that you've seen. Like, I haven't seen this glass, okay? So don't fucking try to tell me you've seen the glass. Like, it's really annoying people like, it's just a glass. No, it's actually not, okay? There's a lot of things to it that I'm not gonna explain. If your eye doesn't catch the, like, the beauty of it, then it's your problem, shut up. Stupid. Like, seriously, annoying me, okay? 
Okay, so I'm gonna make my coffee with you. And um, I love, okay, so I, for some reason I told you guys like lately, I'm like obsessed with cream. And it's not like getting a latte from Starbucks where the whole thing tastes like fucking milk, right? Like I can't stand that. Cream is like different than milk, okay? Cream is like, it's like a, like I'm not a luxury, but it's like decadent, you know what I mean? It's different. It's like, it's like a brevet, right, latte? Like it tastes so, it, you, anything brevet. Like I, I love, I love like, I love that. I don't, a lot of people who don't like cream will not like this. And this is not for you then. I don't change your fucking comments. So um, I just love like creamy stuff, like obviously. But it's really fattening, but I don't care. It's just like something I love right now. And I just have been making this coffee and I just fucking love it, okay? I just fucking love it. So it's all about the cups though. So. Okay, sorry, I was interrupted. Okay, so the glasses I love to use, so I'm like really specific about glasses, but um, I love this glass. And I'm actually, the thing is like, I don't really, like you guys know how I feel about telling you about things. Like, I don't wanna tell you everything is what it is. Like, I don't wanna get in fight with you right now. Um, if I feel like telling you, I do. If I don't, I don't. And like, you know, not everything has to be told. Um, and you're not entitled to that, okay? Anyway, um, so I like to use this, these a lot. And I love these glass straws and they come, I have like a purple one and then a pink one, okay? And I like those for that. And then um, I have this short wine glass, which I actually have not used yet, but I just recently got it and I feel like it's a vibe because it's not like one of those cumbersome kind of wine glasses. Like this is actually something that I could do like in the afternoon with like an iced coffee. And I do like, I really do like um, iced coffees in big wine glasses too, like tall ones, but I like this because more like practical um and then i showed you guys that so those are the three that i like to use right now there's also this but my these are a mess don't look because they rearranged them when they were doing the painting but um okay i also love these they're really short if you want like a mini drink or just like kind of something that's small i really love these a lot um okay so those are what i'm using and then let me get my got my ice and then um, let's put this down a little bit so you guys can kind of see. Okay, are we doing it like that? Okay, so I'm gonna push this back because this fits then. And then I'm gonna put my vanilla pod. It doesn't have to be vanilla, but that's what I've been using. That's what I always use pretty much. And then I'm gonna do my one shot of espresso. Oh, so cute. Okay, um, it's just heating up. And I also got this pumpkin pie spice, but I haven't used it. This I don't know why I haven't used it. I just don't feel like pumpkin, I don't feel like it's not the vibe. Okay, I also forgot to tell you something. It's better to let it cool down for a little bit too. Okay, um, I also forgot to tell you guys that I love this drink because I feel like it looks like a white Russian and I don't really like white Russians because I don't like vodka, creamy vodka stuff. Um, but I feel like it's such a vibe. Like if someone saw me drinking that, they'd probably assume it was like a white Russian. And I think it's just like so extra. Um, and I just kind of let you guys know, like I just live to like make like happy vibes or like vibes that I love for myself. And so I just kind of like, oh, it's like a white Russian. I don't know why. Okay. Um, so here is, um, do a little bit more. Okay. I feel like it, I do like two or three times like that. Okay. So then, Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna put my ice in there. About like that. And then I'm gonna put my half and half. I know it's a lot, okay? But like that. And then the straws I use are these like short straws from, um, I think they're from like 
Daiso a long time ago or something, but this is what I've been using in these, and I really love it. It's just so good. I absolutely love that. So that's my new coffee drink. Super simple, but it's just what I love. Um, and it's just all about the moment. It's all about the glass, like the straw, everything. And um, I, I've been getting this half and half, but I actually like the um, another one that tastes more like half and half or like cream or like um, milk that you'd buy in London or like, sorry, in, like in the UK. Like when I was a kid, that I remember going to like the Cotswolds or whatever, and we went to stay at a bed and breakfast and they had milk that tasted like, when you have milk and you get like farm fresh or whatever, it, or from in, I think the only time I've ever tasted that is like in Europe. Like their butter tastes different, their milk tastes different. It's just so much better. It's so flat here. It doesn't taste like anything. Like in the UK and in like France and things, the milk tastes different. It tastes so much better. It's like, I can't, I can't even explain it. It just tastes like European milk. So there's this one brand that kind of tastes like it. It's not, I'm going to go buy it again, actually. Um, I think they sell it at Whole Foods. And I used to buy that one all the time, but when you heat it up, because I usually heat up my milk, like my half and half when I'm doing my coffees, it kind of like loses that richness or something. But I think it'd be really good now. I'm wondering, I'm curious, I should get that. Um, also, I want to talk to you guys about something because I'm going to have it out with you. Um, because, bitch, I have a lot of things to talk to you guys about, but there's one thing I was going to say is like, I'm going to show you guys how these Brandy Melville shirts are too fucking big on me, okay? I'm going to show you, and you're going to be like, you're not even that skinny, okay? you need to shut your damn mouth because it's the thing like i'm not when i talk about people are like okay is this in general people are like they're all you're always like, you're not that skinny like do you think i'm comparing myself to anyone but myself like that's how fucking small-minded and stupid you are why the fuck would i ever compare myself to someone who's actually like a stick like are you fucking retarded like i could never be that skinny you know what i mean like i'm never comparing myself to other people i'm comparing i'm talking about my damn self on here you fucking idiot I'm talking about my damn self. I will always be referring to my damn self, okay? So when I'm telling you guys that I'm skinny or I'm whatever, yes, I fucking am, you fucking idiot. I don't need to hear it from your fucking ugly. Okay, I'm not kidding. Like, I'm so sick of people just being, you're not that skinny. Actually, yes, but for me, I am. That's who I'm comparing it to. I'm comparing, comparing it to my damn self, okay? So, um, dude. I'm just exhausted, you guys. Like, I just want this bullshit construction to end. I just want to be able to, like, not have... Like, I have... It's just been, you know, where, like, I have no space. Like, I have so much space, but no space. It's so fucked up. actually like no I do like it looks so ugly in like the in the viewfinder but in, pretty, in person it looks pretty I don't get it okay I'm literally hiding out in this back bedroom like storage back bedroom from the house because it's like completely taken over okay so remember how i was telling you guys downstairs how the brand are on twitter i was like these brandy melville tops are too big on me yes they are shut the fuck up i'm gonna tell you right now um and don't tell me look this is the thing i'm talking about myself i'm talking about my damn self every time i'm speaking on here i'm not talking about your fucking ugly ass who i give a fuck about okay yes they are too big this is too big okay this rib, can you tell? Like it's that ribbed material, right? This is too big, I need to size down. And don't tell me I don't because I know I do, watch. You guys know I don't wear like skin tight clothes. Like, no, I, it, what is it? Okay. Like, do you see what I mean? So these are just like yoga pants, right? But like, this is like, just like too big. Like it just doesn't look 
You see what I mean? Like, I feel like it should be like that. It's just not cute. Dude, like this is too big on me. I'll show you another example. Okay, let me show you another example and you're gonna say it's not too big, but it is too big. Okay, so yeah, I'm not wearing a bra. I never wear a bra. This is like too big. Like, what is this? It's like, what is this cut? Like, this is not cute. Like, like it should have been like this. And like, look at this like extra, like what is this? Like extra, sh like why, why are we so big here? I don't get it. Like. Like, what is going on? Like, why are we not making it cute? Like, why are we not doing that? Like, what? I'm sorry. What the fuck is this? This is not cute. This is too big. Okay, and before you try to lecture me about how Brandy Melville is supposed to be oversized, no, it's not, bitch. I'm talking about the small shirts. Like, these are, like, the small shirts. I'm not talking about, like, the big oversized sweatshirts and jumpers they sell. Okay, these are supposed to be, like, these are not supposed to be big. Okay, so... Now this one's this one's okay actually because it's supposed to be like that but yeah this one's fine i just don't understand why there's just so much like material here like what is that what is this like extra material that's like up in my armpits like why like why why are we doing that but you, see, you know what i mean like it's just ugly like like why Hey, okay, so I left this fucking shirt on because I already took the tag off. I can't exchange it. Like, whatever is what it is. Like, I just don't like that bagginess on the side. And, like, I told you, and there's, like, workers around. Like, I don't want to look like I'm absolutely insane, like, talking to myself in a fucking camera. So, um, you know what I mean? Like, I just feel, like, uncomfortable at my own house. I'm just so tired of it. Like, I'm just so tired of it. Um, anyway, I have my drink with me. And I just wanted to, like, go with you guys out. And, um talk talk with you talk to you my contractor brought me these cookies today um like halloween cookies because i was like telling him that i was looking for these cookies or whatever he's like oh my god i know this place whatever okay so i want to eat these cookies with you dude i look like fucking orange like there's something about this car i know i i get like that's the thing, like I understand that I put like more bronze on my face and like my skin's, my body is not the same, but like, it, don't tell me it doesn't look good, okay? Like, yeah, I understand I don't match, but like, what do you mean you do? Like fucking put makeup on my body, like shut your damn mouth. I don't need your fucking opinions and let me see your face. Okay, shut up. Anyway, let me show you this fucking cookie. I look like shit. Like, to be honest, I look like shit. Look at this cookie. So good. But um, I'm just gonna talk to you guys. Yeah. Like I pulled over again. You guys follow me on Twitter. I posted about it. I legitimately like got <coughs> pulled over again. Let me tell you what happened. Why am I so ugly right now? Like, I honestly need to fuck off. It's like this right here. It's this, isn't it? No, it's like everything. <sighs> I don't know what problem is. Okay. Um, I need to find a spot. I kind of want to just like, I want to relax, you guys. Like, I want to relax. This is my relaxing time when I can like just speak to you. But can we find like a spot to sit? I'm gonna tell you guys. So I got pulled over again. I look like a poodle. I look like a damn poodle. This is good lighting, but there's like nowhere to pull off. Sir? I'm gonna pull off, I swear to God, I'm not gonna give a shit. Bike lane. No, I'm gonna bike lane.
and I don't like really get pulled over, but I got pulled over. Okay. So it was like at a red light. I was at a red light and this cop like puts the sirens on me from the side. He was like coming out of like, he was like hiding somewhere, right? That's how you know the color's off because like even the watch color is like too, it's like too orange. Like I'm too orange in here. I don't, this car like, it's like really hater. Like I really cannot with this car and like the color. Anyway, so he like flashes, flashes me over when I was like, I thought he was trying to get in front of me. So I was like trying to let him go. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's pulling me over. I was like, wow, okay. So I was like pulled over and I pulled up the side of the road and I was like, he comes to the side and he's like, hi, do you know, you know what you were doing? And I was like, first of all, bitch. Okay, to everyone out there before I like get into this. Um, it's something called being charismatic. I'm very charismatic, okay? You may not think I am, but like that's, why do you think people like, they like, wa they watch me even though they hate me. Like it's something, okay? Um, turn on the charm, dumbass. Don't be fucking rude. Like the fucking, you know what? Like his fucking life, basically. Like whatever, your life, not really that. I'm, I'm not like, your, your life that evening as far as getting a ticket, not dying, shut up, shut your fucking mouth, is in his hands, okay? I don't want to get in, I'm getting into it with you, okay? Right now, ma'am or sir. No, I will not. Shut your fucking mouth. Okay. Your um, mood, basically, is in his in his and like your pocketbook okay is in his hands at that moment so if i can kiss his ass so i was like hi i was like so nice i was like hi yes i know i i know what i was doing i was on my phone but i was at a red light stopped so that was really nice you know and then um i turned on the charm bitch okay i'm not gonna say what i said no i will not Figure it out your damn self. Say what you'd like to say, okay? Figure it the fuck out. Are you that dumb? Yeah, you are dumb, okay? If you're gonna get pulled over by someone and they have the authority to write you a fucking $500 fucking ticket or not or let you go, why don't you fucking be nice and suck his dick, okay? Do it. And that's not what I did. Put people out there will think that I legitimately sucked the cop's dick. Like, you're so fucking dumb. I can't even speak to you. You're so stupid. And that's why you got the ticket, because you're a fucking dumbass, okay? That's why you're a loser in life, too. Because you're a dumbass. You don't know how to play the game. You don't know how to play the game. Okay. So, bitch. Yeah, I was, char I was charismatic as fuck. And I was like, blah, blah, blah. You know, if you could just be leaning on me, be lenient on me this time, please. Like, being really nice. Not being too talkative. Yes, sir. No, sir, bitch. Okay. Doesn't help. It helps the fact that you're pretty. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. In today's society would tell you the opposite. Today's society would say looks don't matter. Absolutely do looks, looks, looks do matter. Okay, yes, it does matter if you're fat. Yes, it does, bitch. Okay, it's called the real world, bitch. Don't eat after eight, bitch. I'm getting into that too, and I'm sick of you. I'm sick of the clown world. I'm sick of the clown world. I do not live in a clown world. I live in the real world, okay? We all live in the real, real world. I'm sorry that some of you out there choose to live in a clown world, okay? And I'm not gonna fucking, um, I, I will not, I will not live in a clown world. You're pissing me off. So, um, I'm like really pissed off right now, actually. Um, so he's like, can I see your, um, he's like, okay, can I see your driver's license registration? So driver's license registration. So I gave him my driver's license and to be honest, I don't even, my registration, I have it on my phone or whatever, or my insurance. And he looked at my license and I was trying to find my insurance card. I was like, my insurance is on my phone. Um, and I was like, you know, I was like, I can get it from my phone because you're not supposed to like reach for anything. Like, you know, like, play the rules, like play by, you, th there are rules in life you have to play by. Don't piss these fuckers off. Don't piss them off. Okay. They're already fucking nervous. They're already scared. Like anything they do in today's society is like wrong. Right. Just, just fucking deal. Like, like let's all, let's all chill out. Okay. So, you know, don't like kiss his fucking ass to the nth degree, but also be really nice or do, or fucking do, do what you have to do, bitch. So I was like, I can get it from my phone. And then he's like, he's like, okay, give me the lecture. He's like, I'm going to let you off tonight. He said, but you have a heavy car. It's, it's, it's raining out. I was like, you're hundred percent right. I'm so sorry. I said, this is definitely a lesson learned. I'm, I will def I'm so sorry. Like that hundred, you're hundred percent right. Kiss his ass. Kissed his fucking asshole, bitch. Yes, I did. Absolutely. Because you know what? That saved me 500 bucks. I bet, wasn't it like, isn't it like 500? It's like not a moving violation, but I think it's like $500 for like texting and driving. You know, like, why wouldn't I? Why would the fuck would I not? Like, why are you so stupid? Like, why don't you try? 
you know at the moment though i <laughs> that the thing is though if he if he didn't give me a chance it probably been rude to him at the end <laughs> like that's the truth i probably would have been like um whatever just write me the ticket then write me the ticket i don't have fucking time for this no you can't do that because they can get you for something else too they'll like add on something so you just can't be mean to them there's no point like you just have to like try your best but like i'm sick of people being like like no and it's not because i'm white okay it's not because i'm it's not because i'm white you fucking uncharismatic evil little bitch okay it's because you have a bad attitude you're a snot no shithead okay you're not charismatic you think that you're entitled to everything you're not i was entitled to the ticket yes i was i deserved the ticket yes i did but because i was nice okay and i'm charismatic and i'm pretty i got off yes it's true it's called the real world bitch if i was a bitch if i was fucking ugly bitch rude he would have written me the ticket this is real life talk this is real life talk don't be ugly don't be rude don't be a bitch play play the rules be charismatic like like it's real it's like real shit it's like it's like the requirements bitch it's the requirements okay like do you like i know there's there's certain requirements for certain situations in life okay like it is what it is and the next thing is i'm really fucking sick and tired of this bitch with the moles all over her face she literally has moles and warts all over her damn face and she keeps coming for me i told you i don't fuck with anyone do i do i ever name drop do i ever come on here and like speak specifically about people or like talk mad shit about someone on on like youtube or like insta do i do that like no i don't get involved in people's shit like i could give a rat's ass about anyone literally but like my damn self that's all i give a fuck about is like worrying about my damn self and my fucking life okay maybe that's why my life is the way it is pretty fucking good because i worry about my damn self i don't give a fuck what anyone else says i don't give a fuck if someone says you should eat Four million calories a day. I think I'm gonna go do a little like YouTube duet and be like, oh my God, this bitch, like why would I even waste my time? Like, yes, please speak about me. Actually, please keep speaking about me because you're so stupid. Like you're doing actually like, you are promoting me for free. Like you're actually promoting me. You're doing like my PR for free. Literally my hair is the ugliest I've ever seen it. Like I can't even post this video because it's so ugly, but I'm not kidding. This bitch, like she's like constantly coming for me about the not eating after eight thing, but like, I'm not kidding. And her mother, her mother is insane. Like, remember last year, what, it was like three years ago when I lost my weight and like, she was like so like pissed she made a YouTube video, whatever, I don't even know. She, her like mom DM'd my mom's dog. My mom has like a page about her dog, her mother. And I found out cause I, I was like, who is this crazy, this crazy bitch kept on like harassing me and then harassing my mom. And it was like her mother. Her mother came to my mom's dog page, like dog page and was like, your daughter is like the most horrible merch. She uses the most foul language about my daughter, some shit. And my mom, my mom like is the kind of person, she didn't give a fuck. Like she's not the kind of mom to like, like, like she's, she's like me, like figure it out your damn self. You know what I mean? Like, let, like, it's just embarrassing. Like she's not like a soccer mom. She's not like the mom room person, like PTA. Like she was never like that. Like she like worked full time. She's like, I don't have time for this, you know? Where the fuck is my goddamn brush? Like I wait, wait. Honestly, yeah, I like legitimate lost. I'm so ugly. I can't, I can't post this today. Anyway, I'm not kidding you. Like she is like she has like warts and moles all over her face. Like I'm not kidding. And she has the nerve to do a duet with her face like this close speaking. And she has no self awareness that she's has like legitimately. And I don't care. I told you, don't come for me. Don't come for me. If you come for me, I will come for you harder, bitch. I didn't start this. I don't even know who you are. I don't know who you are, but you're gonna tell me that I shouldn't be on the internet. You know who shouldn't be on the internet? Someone who has like warts and moles all over their face. Really disgusting. Like it's actually really disgusting. We are in 2021. There are very simple things to take care of that. Okay. It seems like you have enough money. You're not like on the street to get that taken care of because that is like socially unacceptable to be walking around society with warts and moles on your face. Like it's actually disgusting and don't come for me because you're ugly that's you've already you've already fucked up on the requirements okay because you're ugly so if you're not hotter than me don't come for me okay we've already discussed it so she didn't get the memo and so that's what i do because do i ever do i ever like do a duet about someone who i feel like is like i don't agree with or something like i like the cringe like honestly the cringe um, I really hate this like shirt. Actually, I really don't like brown. I mean, you guys said that you like brown. Like, I actually hate brown. Um, brown's disgusting too. It's like make up your mind. Like, what are you? Like, are like what is this color on me? It doesn't look good. I don't know. You guys, I just can't get it right today. But um, I don't need anyone coming for me about anything. Like about anything that I said today. Like it's the truth. I'm really actually sick of it. 
and why don't you try it like honestly when the guy pulled me over and he asked for my license i felt my blood boil i was like getting so mad because i was thinking to myself you fucking asshole i was at a red light you're such a fucking dickhead like like seriously you're such a dickhead you did not have to pull me over for that if it was one thing if i was driving and texting on the freeway and swerving like yes okay i deserve it but like i was at a red light you know what i mean so i was really mad but i was like alex stop you know what I mean? Like you're going to get the ticket if you're a fucking crazy bitch or if you're a bitch at all, if you have even a little bit of attitude, all you do is you fucking kiss his fucking ass. Okay. Be nice. Kiss his ass. And you, maybe you have a chance. Okay. And that's the truth. Like with anyone, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. Anyone gives a fuck about your fucking skin color. No, they don't. Okay. No, they do not. It's about being nice and it's about having charisma. Okay. Be a little bit charismatic. Be, be sweet. Be nice. Okay. Don't be a fucking asshole. Don't be a fucking asshole, okay? Like, dude, I'd fucking write you up and fucking asshole. I'd fucking, I would give you a ticket. I'd give you more too if you fucking rude to me. Um, so I don't want to hear about that, but that's the truth. And people are not like, um, and any like little Gen Z BLMs, get the motherfuck off my page. I don't care what you say, bitch. I give a fuck what you say. Get the fuck off my page. Yeah, you're getting a ticket. I will write you up and fucking you would get a ticket because you act like that. You act like a little shit. You probably get pulled over and you like all start all this fucking ruckus right away. Shut your damn mouth. Don't give a fuck about you. So yeah, I got off twice. I've gotten off twice because I'm I'm very charismatic. I am. I'm like very like I'm like very nice. I'm like actually the nicest person. I like know how to turn on the charm. Um and it's true. Like that's the truth. Ew, I look like Cowardly Lion. Like, honestly. Ew, like, why? Like, why am I so ugly today? I don't get it. Anyway, so yeah, like my, um, that video of me saying, like, my cam, like, little clip of the cameo I, I did for someone telling them not to eat after eight is, like, going, like, people are so pre pressed by it on, um, what's it called? On TikTok. Like, I literally hate TikTok so much. Like, it's like, you know, it's people who can hide behind the keyboard and write that shit. It's so pathetic. Everyone thinks that just because they can write a comment, they have like an actual valid opinion or they have anything to say. It's, it's actually the most cringiest thing. The cringiest thing I've ever experienced. It's so bad. But um, it's sad too, because it is the truth. Like you actually shouldn't eat after eight. And the fact that people are saying you should, or you should eat when you're hungry is the reason why we are fat in America. Like it's actually the reason why we're fat, okay? And no, you should never just eat when you're hungry because you know what, bitch? I'm always hungry. I'm, oh, I can eat. Are you fucking serious, dude? I would love to eat 24 seven. I love to eat. I love food. I love, I would love to go out to eat. I'd love to have, I love snacking. I love, are you kidding? I love it all. But I know what happens to me. Refer back fucking four years ago. Like what happened? Like I get fat. Okay. Like I have like the fat jam. I like, I feel like I can just easily get fat. Some people can't and good for you. But I'm not talking about people who have been skinny their whole life and don't have the fat gene. Like my grandma was fat. She was fat her whole life. I feel like I just take after that side. So I have to be really careful. You just have to be like, it's just disgusting. The amount of food that we eat here in America is just, is just horrible. Like, and, and the fact that this culture is now like breed, like saying where it's okay to be fat, like, oh, like what's it called? Or it's just, it's under the guise of like acceptance. It's not about acceptance. Like being fat is not good. Being fat is not attractive. Being fat is unhealthy. Like shut your fucking mouth. You're just lazy and you have no fucking discipline. It's hard. It's very hard to lose weight. It's very hard to choose to not eat, but then to eat. Okay. It's very hard. No one says to like starve yourself. No one says to be anorexic. If you're anorexic, that's your fault. Okay. Like shut your fucking mouth. Like don't come on my page and be like, oh my God, this triggers my anorexia. Shut up you weak little piece of shit. Get the fuck off of my page. Deal with your own shit. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking about my damn self. I'm talking to people who are like me and if you don't like what I have to say you have your own brain which is obviously dumb doesn't work but still get the fuck off my page it's not for you you're not in this class get out it's it's annoying it's like I can't say shit the only thing I can say like I said last week the only thing I can say nowadays is don't worry girl you're 450 pounds but it's okay you look great yay you look great you're 450 pounds like oh girl you look amazing like go girl yeah wear that crop top girl wear that crop top and wear those fucking uh, those daisy dukes uh, yeah it looks so good like no, bitch, it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't look good. They're fucking lying to you, okay? And you're not going to change the way society thinks. Like, being overweight is not healthy. It's not attractive. Like, you're a lazy bitch. I get it. I was a lazy bitch before. I made bad choices. And I feel like that's why I can speak on it. If I was like... And I'm not saying I'm the skinniest person. I know I'm not the skinniest person, but I'm not fat, okay? And I put a lot of work in to lose the weight. Therefore, I can have a, fu a fucking opinion on it. It would be really annoying if I was like... 
one of those skinny, like athletic, like I can't get away from the construction. I can't get away from it. I would be really annoying, honestly, if I was like a naturally skinny person, like a skinny model person or like a fitness instructor who's always been skinny and always been into fitness and speaking on this. Like I would get it. That would be fucking irritating. But because I was overweight and I had been overweight for long periods of life over my uh, long periods of time over my life span, I feel like I like it's just something that I really like it really I care about it. And yeah, when I say that, like like for me to me like being skinny is like important not skinny being for myself i'm talking about myself it's like and i can't say that either it's like when i say i'm skinny people are like oh my god i'm not skinny like it bothers me because i'm not saying like i know you think i'm stupid you think i'm, I'm not self-aware that i'm not the skinniest person like you guys are so dumb like it's it's actually so stupid and you're just making putting like you're just putting a disservice on <laughs> you're putting like um a disservice on my videos okay because it's sad that people don't watch these and actually like, yeah she's right you know well they do a lot of say way way more of you do than don't but anyway i would get it if i was like naturally skinny and talking about talking to like fat people overweight people like bitch you don't even know like you have no experience in it and i like i understand that um and that's why i talk about things that i know or i feel or i experience or i like have like or i feel inside of me whatever but um yeah so I want to show you guys my sunglasses too. Um, so I got these sunglasses. Oh my god, my cookie. Yeah, my fucking contractor's trying to make me fat. Isn't that so cute? Hmm. I love Mm. Okay. So, I got these sunglasses. Both of these pairs. I saw the people on Insta wearing them. I thought they cute for a photo. I hate them though. Like, I I wasn't picking my nose. It was on the side of my nose. Okay. So, um, like, I like them, but they're just, I hate clear sunglasses. I only got them for like photos and like I wore these, I did wear these one day, um, which I like, but I just feel like they're just too, like it looks so cheap. You have to wear these really specifically or else your outfit looks cheap. Like I, it looks, you know what I mean? It's just, it's too much. I don't like to pay too much attention on things like this because this, this is just looks, I literally look cheap. I literally look cheap. Like. I, I look, I hate trendy shit. I fucking hate like trendy shit, but I just think they, I thought they were cute. I, I, just, I don't know. I hate trendy shit. I also hate clear sunglasses. Like you're so embarrassing. Like you're really trying extra. Like, why are you wearing them? You know, like, why are you wearing them? I don't get it. You're wearing them just for a fashion statement. Like you're just actually wearing a heavy plastic piece on your face for a, for a fashion statement. That's what you're doing. Cause they're not doing shit. You know what I mean? Like them i don't know i don't like them but i got them because i just i don't know i like them but i don't i'm never gonna wear them why is that buzzing happening like why can't i get away from the why could like literally can i not get away from the fucking thing okay i'm gonna show you one more thing too i'm so obsessed with this i'm like it's looking like a new thing it's like makes me so happy and um it's these little like caboodles and but it's for like it's for like your bag isn't the cutest thing I've ever seen? And I put all the things that I use for like my sleepy droop and my fetus fetus contour um, in here and my eyebrows and stuff. And I just love it. It's like, why is it dirty? It's like a little bit dirty. Wow. Oh, it's from my um, eyebrow pencil. Okay. But isn't that so cute? I feel like it's really cute to be able to open. It would be really cute if I had a mirror in it. They should have put a fucking mirror in it like in here. <gasps> why don't they do that? I should do that. I should do like a mirror and like glue it in there. That's what it needs. It needs a mirror. Oh my god, I love it. So I got this one. I also got a smaller one. Oh my god, you guys, I got something else too. I hope it comes soon because I cannot wait to do a video on it with it. Oh my god, I'm gonna show you guys later. It's gonna be like the best thing. I've been like, I'm done. I'm so dead over it. I'm like, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. But anyway, yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna ca catch me on Patreon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys my um living room and stuff tonight. Um, because I'm trying to put, I need to put my things away. I have like my 
I do my mantle and things because the paint was drying and now it's dry so I can put that up in my kitchen. I want to show you my chandelier on or I'll show you what it looks like. So the kitchen is totally done except for the flooring has to be done but everything else is done finally. So um, yeah. All right guys. All right. I love you guys so much and um, thank you for the majority of you guys for like not for forgetting it like i just am so sick of people who don't get it it's actually infuriating and it really bothers me that it bothers me a lot that people try me like it's like i don't try people and i really try to think back like when i would i would never in a million years show my face and critique anyone's decision in life to do anything like it's just disgusting so what i t say people say not to eat after eight so people think that they can come for me like are you you are sickening you're a fucking loser like you're just a, you're a fucking joke you know what i mean so yeah i already told you that if you're gonna do that kind of shit i'm gonna come for you 10 times harder like there's not very much you can come for me for like if you want to like doctor my photos up and edit them to make me look ugly you can see what i look like like you i mean you can you can see what i look like so if you're gonna like i've seen people like like edit my photos to, like make me look really really bad on purpose like wow like so it's like you guys have to do that right to like that's like the only thing to do is like try to make me look ugly by editing my photos like wow okay like try to make me look fat try to make me look ugly that's actually so sad because i'm like so not it's like shows that i'm so not you know what i mean whatever so um yeah all right guys i love you bye